Hi, Andrew here. Today we're going to take a look at 300 AAC Modern Arms 125 grain Spear TNT. 125 grain is, to be frank, a little bit heavy for supersonic full power uh, 300 AAC. Uh, while it sounds lightweight, and it is lightweight for a 308 or 762 by 51 millimeter, and it's right in the middle and the medium sweet spot range for 762 by 39 millimeter. 125 grains actually pretty heavy for a 762 by 35 millimeter. However, that doesn't mean that it can't turn in some pretty decent performance. So let's get out to the range. Let's shoot it through my 8 inch ARFCOM upper into some calibrated 10% ballistic gelatin and see what happens. Alright guys, I gotta say this is a little bit surprising. The neck here is about four inches long, which maybe that's not terrible in comparison to say some 223 full metal jacket. And of course this performance is certainly better than 300 blackout full metal jacket. But this being an expanding bullet, the disruption, expansion and whatnot happened pretty late. The temporary stretch cavity is not terrible, but also a little underwhelming at six inches by three inches. And we failed to catch the core of the bullet, but the jacket of the bullet went to 18.6 inches, which of course exceeds the FBI max recommended penetration. And yes, we've been over this a few times before where I don't believe that that's nearly as as a big of a deal as falling short of the minimum, but nevertheless, it does fall outside of the recommended, outside of the ideal performance standards. So this is okay, and I suppose if you found a great deal on it, get some, but there's other 300 Blackout that does a better job than this does. Let's take a look at the jacket at least. Woo, that's sharp. So it looks like this is... Wow, that really got me. <laughs> so it looks like this is just the nose of the jacket. That little hollow point <laughs> did not do the hollow point thing that a lot of people think that hollow point rifle bullets do. It really just seems to have ripped this bullet in half. Dumped the core out somewhere. I mean, again, that seems fairly mediocre performance. All right, first off, you might have seen, if you're watching really carefully, that the bullet curved down in the block, bounced off of something, and came back towards me and hit the ground right in front of me. I almost stepped on it as I was racing to shut off the high-speed camera. Because I didn't know what part of the block that chunk exited at, I couldn't count it as part of the retained weight figure, because retained weight is supposed to be a measurement of the piece of the bullet that got the deepest in the gel. Regardless, the penetration was a bit deep, exceeding the 18-inch maximum, and we're not sure where it really would have come to rest, because the piece that I pulled off of the block had come out to the side and it was just kind of sitting underneath on the table. The terminal performance was, well, mediocre. There was no expansion. There was not really any true fragmentation, although it did break into a couple of pieces. It is certainly better than Full Metal Jacket. If you had a great deal on it, maybe you could buy some for end of the world pocky lips sort of thing. But there are other choices out there that are a much better solution for home defense. If you think I got something wrong or if you think I left something out, definitely leave a comment below and let me know. If you want to make badass high-speed video like you saw in this test, get in touch with Nathan Bohr at Aimed Research. I'll put his contact information in the description below. Have a great day.